all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back updates and information as the hot in case you have not joined our social media handle what are you waiting for uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first we'll collect them let's go down to the news proper as the hot um it don't shell but before i go start i say shout out to all of us of freedom all over the world and the amount of making them yeah uh soon as you can uh soon as you can as well as well maka i see the b uh for the land of the indigenous people of biafra the uh president of ohanez and dibo emmanuel iwanya don't cry out to he said that his life is in danger and he is raising alarm <laughs> As it be, he said, those who bombed Modo's house burnt Obiosos after me. The President General of Honest Zendibo Worldwide, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyama, has raised the alarm that some people want him dead at all costs. The Igbo leader who disclosed that he has been receiving threat calls and messages alleged that one of the callers told him that they were recruited to burn his house. Addressing newsmen at the National Secretariat of Hanes and Debo in Enugu yesterday after the group's National Executive Committee, NEC. Iwanyang condemned the trend of attacking and vilifying anybody that came to serve Ndibo as President General. He expressed that certain persons were purveying campaign of calumny against him and the Hanes National Executive Committee members particularly the recent devilish concussion of plans for Ndibu to apologize to the Fulani over the killing of Ahmad Bello in January 1966 coup. He said the 1966 coup was not an Igbo coup, but entirely a military affair. Iwanyan categorically blamed Okechuku Isikzoro and his court for all the damaging things published against Ohaneze and Ndibu. I am addressing Igbo people all over the world that if this kind of thing is not nipped in the boot, it is going to be very disastrous. This thing didn't start today. Joe, Iruku, Ralph, Uechi were all maligned. As they went after Wodo, they bombed his house. Those of us who were close to Obiozo, you know he has a very nice diplomat. It is this kind of thing that killed him. He is not like people like us. I stabbed him in the army. I have thick skin. These people have carried this too far. Some time ago, I got some information that some people are coming to burn my house, that people said they were hired to come and burn my house. Some people also said they were hired to come and kill me. All sorts of stories like that. And I started asking myself, what is it that I have done that would warrant that my house should be burnt, that I should be killed? I told those people that they shouldn't worry. Fortunately, one of them said that the person they hired said that I trained his brother in the university. You know, I had a scholarship scheme that trained over 5,000 young people in the university. So he said his brother was trained by me and so he cannot bomb my house. Um, my people, this one is coming from the chairman or the president of Ohanes Zendibo, uh, Nanyuku Iwanyamu. Uh, and don't come for waiting to the column uh, for social media and also to the press. They say, hmm, say it don't be for him or say some people want to burn in house. And he narrated the past ordeal of other leaders of an S and D who passed, uh, who passed through the same thing. Uh, and he said that he did not know what he has done. Uh, to his people to deserve such callous uh, uh, action against him as chief of the Ones and Dibo and the president of Ones and Dibo. And he is putting the blame on Okechuku Isiguzoro. Uh, my own is, um, why is it that Ndibo are not together? They initiated uh, the Ones and Dibo, made uh, Iwanyamo the, the chairman of Ones and Dibo. And um, Okechuku Isiguzoro and his team also rose up and they are uh, claiming themselves to also be the Honest Zendibo. And the question is, the Honest Zendibo, are they divided? 
And this is one of the reasons why Ndibo has not been able to actualize their dream when it comes to politics because of this division that has been ravaging Ndibo. That Ndibo cannot come together as a people and decide what they want in, a, 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 in the nation's political structure. When it comes to time of presidency, you will find that about 5 or 20 Ndibo will come out. Everybody wants to be president. Why not Ndibo gather together and bring out one person and say, okay, since we are not able to get a Biafra for now, why not we become strong in Nigerian politics? By supporting one person to go for everybody. But Ndibo, when I see eh nya bife ona blugo na ezoku ndi banyin na igbo enwere eze ona blugo na ezoku eh oda kwa na de ma eh ka madu zaba fa akpole ya ona akpolu ewu eh omomese ana onwe eh jeble wa si na ewu ka obu wona si ndi igbo ekene kwa munu eh ka omo akwa wa alu eh ka ba alu megine we maro onwe aside bi uh, they say uh, alleged killing of 21 soldier in Anambra police speak. This one is for Anambra State. Uh, say they don't send about 21 soldiers to judgment in Anambra State. Uh, is this a new means of soldiers uh, raiding people's community and the rest of them? Because uh, this thing is becoming uh, somehow uh, that you will just stay. Uh, say, uh, you hear that the other time in Okuma it was 17 soldiers, and now in Anambra it's 21 soldiers. And you and I know the kind of havoc this thing is going to cause in this particular community. As it be, police command in Anambra has reacted to reports that 21 soldiers were recently killed in the state. The report came week after 17 soldiers, including tough officers, were killed in Delta State. But the command refuted a story trending on social media and some national dailies that 21 soldiers were killed in the state. The news agency of Nigeria NAN reports that the denial is contained in a press release by SP Tochiku Ikenga, the Anambra police spokesperson, and made available to journalists on Wednesday in Oka. Ikenga described the report as misleading, unfounded, and falsehood. The command wishes to state that the report is untrue, a product of fiction and the handiwork of mischief makers. The hospital mentioned in the report where the corpses of the soldiers were allegedly kept does not exist in Oka, the state capital, he said. He said that further inquiries by the command showed that there was no record of such an incident, labeling the story of a deliberate act by unscrupulous elements who desired to cause tension in the state. Ikenga warned that the command would not hesitate to invoke the relevant cyber laws on persons found wanting in this regard. However, the command urged the public to discard the report. My people that don't see as it happen, um, uh, it done the trend everywhere for Anambra say uh, they buy one soldier like that, they buy about 21 soldiers, but as it be, uh, people of Anambra and the SP where they their uh, superintendent of police, uh, don't say that information, say that one, allow you, say it no happen for Anambra State, say make nobody uh, carry that one put for here, uh, because uh, all this um, information will be say you know the uh, uh, RCDB. Meanwhile, for Enugu State, they say they don't begin compensation uh, uh, and payment to property owners at Holy Ghost proposed site for modern train RCDB. You don't share it. Uh, Government don't collaborate some place for that Holy Ghost. Uh, but according to the government of Enugu State, they say they go compensate people where we say they get the property there. Uh, but my question is, um, hope these people are going to be compensated uh, with the value of that particular property at this time. Because of course, you know that landed properties, buildings, are not what you can just come by in this uh, Nigeria of today. Things has become very high. Let's go to the full detail of the information. Ahead of the commencement of the new modern transport interchange bus terminal at Market Road, Enugu Central Station, popularly known as Holy Ghost, the leaser of properties at the site will, from Tuesday, start receiving their compensation as agreed with the Nigerian Railway Corporation, the lesser. The 
The commencement of payment was made known to the Enugu State Commissioner for Transportation, Dr. Obi Ozo, on Monday. Recall that the Enugu State Governor, Dr. Peter Mba, had on the 19th October 2023 met with the critical property owners and stakeholders on the proposed Enugu Central Station at the meeting. Mba had explained that the proposed Enugu Central Station was part of the large infrastructural plan, which also include other major modern transport, intertarch at Gaki, Ababanike and Asoka. The aim, he said, was to alleviate the perennial traffic congestion and enhance safety, preserve road assets, optimize transport efficiency, and address various needs of transport sector operators in the state. He therefore sought their cooperation towards the realization of the project, citing similar world class development in other parts of the world like Dubai and Singapore, among others. Governor Mba said there was no reason Holy Ghost bus, bus terminal could be allowed to continue in its presence of decay. Perennial traffic congestion and high level crimes when such overseas feet could be replicated through conscious effort and planning. My people now here I go to wind down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you for listening. God bless you.